Hi Food Network, this is Masa Drabi coming at you from Portland, Oregon. I want to introduce you to your number one fan. Me, of course. I'm a huge fan of every show on the network, but I especially love Grill It with Bobby Flake. The only thing that's missing is a little Persian spice. So why don't you let me spice things up with Bobby on next season's Grill It. What are you waiting for? Let's get cooking. Let's start with our appetizer. We're gonna make some Persian dolmas today. They're one of my favorite because they're made differently all around the world. But these are really special to me because my grandmother used to make them and they are so delicious. So let me tell you what's in them. We're gonna start with a little bit of yellow split peas. And of course you have to have some basmati rice if you're gonna make a Persian dish. We have some really great fresh herbs here. Some tarragon, cilantro, green onion, basil. We have some lemon, and you have to use a lemon zest. Some onion, garlic, and of course, two of the staple spices, saffron and turmeric. Saffron is the most expensive herb in the world because it gives the most amazing color to your dish, and the aroma is something you just can't forget. Turmeric has a really delicate peppery flavor, and it gives your dish a really bold color and a unique flavor. There's two parts to making the dolmas. First, we want to start with our vegetables. Today I'm using some green peppers, eggplant, and tomatoes. We're going to start with hollowing these out, which I've already done, and I've seasoned them with some kosher salt and black pepper. Then we're going to take our filling and fill each dolma. And you want to fill it all the way to the top, but of course leave some room to put the lid back on. And once you're done stuffing them, you're going to place them all in a Pyrex dish which has a little bit of a tomato sauce mixture. And I've added to this a little bit of lemon and some water. And what this does is steams the vegetables, which are gonna roast in the oven for about 45 minutes before we get them on the grill. As you can see, it's another rainy day in Portland, Oregon, but that's not gonna stop me from grilling. It never has and it won't today. I'm gonna make for you my mom's famous chicken kebab recipe. Family and cooking with family is a huge part of the Iranian culture. And growing up, my mom was always in the kitchen and I was always right there with her. So I've learned a lot of great tricks. Let's talk about what's in this amazing chicken recipe. We've got onions, garlic, turmeric and saffron, salt and pepper, and of course you gotta have a little bit of jalapeno and red pepper flakes. You gotta have some spice. Bobby likes it, I like it, and makes it good. So let's get it on the grill and get these babies cooking. And you want to make sure the heat's not too high because you don't want your chicken to burn. So we're going to get these on there. We're going to baste them with a little bit of butter and olive oil. And close it up so it can cook. We just got our chicken kebabs off the grill. And traditionally, we like to serve them with some basmati rice and these potato crisps that are made underneath the rice. It is so delicious and gives this dish a lot of texture. Enjoy! Once you get your Persian dolmas off the grill, you want to serve them immediately and put a little bit of the tomato sauce and some fresh herbs which give it a really nice flavor. For all of today's recipes, please visit my blog. Catch you next time on The Grill.